What's going on campers? Camp Facer here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Camp Facer. This is going to be my last video for probably about five to six days because most of my fans know this is the last day we're at Motel Hell. We're moving out today, tomorrow, and all weekend. And where we're moving to, unfortunately, we won't have internet until Tuesday of next week, I think is the earliest. So I wanted to shoot this last video out uh, before I don't get a chance to do it. So. Uh, make sure if you're new here to like and subscribe if you like what you see we do all horror movie gaming collectible and more um, mostly right now currently we're doing Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game I want to let you all know I played the technical test this last weekend and oh my god it was a blast it was better than I thought it was gonna be and it was scarier than I thought it was going to be. I had a ball. I'm addicted already, and I can't wait until August 18th when the full game comes out on all platforms. If you guys haven't played it, if you haven't seen the footage, I have in my live tab on my channel. That's where the live streams are recorded. Go there and watch my live streams of me playing the technical test. You're going to think it's great. Um, there's a lot of content creators out there sharing their, their thoughts and stuff. And go back on my channel. I have all the content from when the game was first announced over a year ago. But here we are. And I know Gun's watching. Again, you guys, I love the game. There's not much I can complain about. But today, I want to talk about something. Instead of just positive... I want an idea that I was trying to share on Reddit and, and Discord, but I wanted to put the idea here on my channel. So after playing the technical test, I have a few thoughts, but I don't know. It's not like I'm disagreeing on what the game's doing, per se. This is just an idea. And before I even dive into this idea, there's some people um, on Reddit that were taking my idea and... and, and had the wrong thoughts had had the wrong thoughts and they thought that i was trying to be like a, a crybaby like uh like i want to win this this idea is because i want to win and i'm a baby and i should get good it's nothing about me getting better this idea has nothing to do with me getting better or being a sore loser or anything like that this is just an idea to be immersed into the horror movie um uh, universe okay so my idea I've already talked about it before is possibly getting rid of the proximity warning that glows around the screen when a family member is nearby so you're a victim so it's a 3v4 three killers versus a four victims say you're a victim and you're running around or or, or being trying to be stealthy and either Leatherface or the cook or the hitchhiker is a room or two nearby or they're getting closer you get the proximity warning it glows around the screen telling you as a victim that that the killer is nearby so the the first instinct you're gonna have is oh shit time to duck and hide or run away okay and i get that i get it's kind of like a balanced thing i guess but before this game even released i i said what if the game is going to be Texas Chainsaw Massacre that Gunn's working on next? That was one of my guesses. And we talked about it, and I said to myself, if it is, the family needs to be OP, okay? It, it, it can't be a balanced game. We don't want it to be balanced. And if you think that I'm saying that because I want to win as a killer, then you're wrong. It has nothing to do with that. I want it to be hard to escape as a victim. Because I love playing victim, and in a game like this, I want to be scared. I want the immersion. I want it to be hard, because in the movie, the only one that survived... Spoiler alert, I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one, was Sally. And she barely made it out. She almost died. So, I get that it's a game. I get that. And, and people can argue, well, it's a video game. It can't be too hard, or people won't have fun, blah, blah, blah. 
Well, look at all the other horror games or, I mean, uh, multiplayer asymmetrical horror games. They all have the same formula to the to, for the most part, okay? I get that. And you have to have balance. But why do you have to have balance? You don't. Maybe this is this is my thought. This game could be more family sided, like a percentage, okay? And if that were to go up or down, let's say the victims are 30% less, but let's say if it goes up or down, they both go equally. So I want to say this should be an unbalanced, balanced game. When I say that, like I just said, um, it's unbalanced where the, the killers are more OP than the victims, but if they uh, get buffs in the future, like perks or skill tree, it, let, let's just say like the victims can go up and down. Like It should stay off balanced. It's, it's really tough to explain that, but anyways, my proximity alert warning idea here is what if Gun got rid of that glow, okay? If they got rid of that glow, it would make it more organic, more um, surprise, more uh, suspense in the game. Like, like, let's say you're walking through the house as a victim down a hallway, and you don't see that glow. And at the end of the hallway, there's a door to the left, but you can't see in the door because it's off to the left at like a 90 degree angle. You're, you're walking or jogging or running down towards that door thinking, oh, I'm going to go in there, blah, blah, blah. I'm safe, I think, so, so far. And as soon as you're like a couple feet from the door, bam, Leatherface jumps out. And you didn't know he was near there because there was no glow on the screen. But if the glow was there, you would have seen the glow light up maybe way before you got there. Now, I get like... I get that you can't tell which direction they might be. They could be in, it's glowing on the screen, but they could be behind you to the side, but you have no warning. Like if the glow wasn't there, you had no warning whatsoever. And it's more organic, more of a immersed um, horror movie moment. Like when Kurt first walked into the family house in the film, he was like knocking on the door. He opened it up. Hello, hello. There was no warning. There was no like um vibe of he didn't know. He just thought it was a, a a a house. He's looking for gas for the van, you know. And he's just like whatever and he's like walking in, "Hello." And he went right up to the door, the metal door, and that's when Leatherface smacked him right over the head with a hammer. There was no red glow on the screen. Again, I know it's a video game here we're playing, you guys. And I'm not really like hating. I'm not I'm not hundred percent I'm not hating on this being in the game like I can deal if we're gonna keep that red glow on the screen I can deal with it it's not a big deal don't get me wrong don't take this the wrong way um, I actually love the game with it there it's still fun at you know I'm just saying this is just an opinion you guys this is just um talk friendly discussion I want to know what you guys think about the red glow. Do you think they should keep it there? Do you think they should take it away? Or do you think they should possibly just tone it down? Maybe it happens sometimes, but not all the time. Maybe it happens so subtle that it's hard to even tell it's there. I don't know. Um, I just think full on uh, red glow uh, proximity alert warning all the time takes away from that like that that suspense of a horror movie game. Uh, and not only that, you guys, I feel like having it there gives those real good players that play victims that like, that like to learn how to troll the killer around and, and, and make it very, uh, competitive and laugh like a laughing stock of the killer with it, with it being there. It's like an assist for them. It's, it's kind of like it gives them that power when you take that away those kind of players could get caught off guard 50-50 chance. So it'll cut it right in half. So taking that away, to me, honestly, in my thoughts, it would, it would save this game from those players that like to be competitive with the killer and make a laughing stock out of them. I think they should take it away, personally. Um, but if they do that, could it really ruin the gameplay? I don't know. Um, so far, the game is great. 
maybe don't fix something that's not broken. Don't just take my idea and say, yeah, he's right, but it's just thoughts, you guys. Um, that's pretty much like my main concern. Overall, I think that everything else in the game is great. Everything works so far. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about the skill tree perk system. Like, I don't want it to turn into like Evil Dead the game where, you know, uh, the more somebody levels up, they become more OP and then people start crying and then guns get a nerf or, or change something and it goes back and forth. Well, now they're, now they're more OP than that person. Um, I just hope the game stays like unbalanced balanced like i just said like keep it th at that point like always have the killers be the threat i mean you're in their house you're on their property you shouldn't survive there's no way i mean there should be a chance that you get away if you do yay all power to you um but it should be a w an award to escape okay and again i'm not sitting here crying like Oh, I want to be a killer and I want it to be easy without having proximity alert. No, it's not like that. I like to play victim more than the killer. You guys that will have watched my live streams of this game, I've died more times than I've escaped. I've only escaped a few times. I've died like tons of times and I clap and I'm like, awesome. Every time I die, I'm excited. I'm like, I made it that far. This game is insane. It, I had the jump scare moments. It was, you know, brutal. It was like my hands are sweating trying to run and hide and had those close encounter moments so again don't take this the wrong way this is more about immersion than it is being um a learning curve and, and getting good okay um but man could you imagine some of the jump scare moments without that proximity alert warning that would just be insane um, and, and you know what just bothers me? When I posted this topic on Reddit, I had nothing but, not necessarily attacks from people, but everybody was um, saying absolutely not. Oh, it's they, they were disagreeing, and I'm like, that's okay to disagree, but man, it just, it just, I just feel like those kids or whoever they were responding don't have any, like, imagination or something like that you like i just can't believe it's mind-blowing that they wouldn't want to uh that they that, that it's mind-blowing to me that they wouldn't want to dive in as a victim and feel like that tense uh moment of somebody sneak attacking you without you knowing they just it, it just seems like they want it to be easy for them as a victim but instead, they were trying to tell me I was like a dead by daylight player crying and blah, blah, blah. They didn't understand. And that's why I'm putting it here verbally on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's Again, it's just an idea that I think would work, but maybe, maybe not. Um, I know that you can do this in the settings where you could turn HUD off. People were telling me that too. But the problem with that <clears throat> is if I do it, no one else is going to do it, and that's not fair. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes it fun for me, challenging, but they could just sit there without knowing, being like, oh, this guy sucks, because they didn't have it shut. I, it, if it were to be in the game, it should be like everyone has to have it, you know? Unless we all organized a private match where we all agreed, hey, everyone's going to shut the HUD off. Then it could be fun, because then we know everybody's involved in it. But I'm talking about like the core quick play game. If it was implemented in the quick place, uh, where with, with, with the randoms, um, if I only did it then, then it wouldn't be fair. Even though I'll, I'll probably do it anyways for a challenge here and there. But um, yeah, so that's it. The proximity warning: should it stay, or should it go, or should it be toned down? Um. <clears throat> Anyways, so far, thank you for hearing me ramble on and my idea. Agree to disagree. Put it down in the comments section below, you guys. Please give this video a like. You guys, I'm leaving mode hell hell. It's kind of a sad day. I mean, it is It is what it is. I mean, we have, we're excited to go to our new place, but it's been a journey here. That we've met so many um, new faces that have come in and come left the motel, and it's been a journey with you guys, um, bringing you on the ride into the basement and and around the property here, and live streaming from Motel Hell. <laughs> so, 
This is Camp Facer signing out of Motel Hell once and for all. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods. <laughs>